Happy 2024. Welcome to the Totally Designs channel. If you like to create, you like to grow, you like to know, or you simply just want to come and hang out, go ahead and press that like and subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Now, I hope you enjoy today's video. Hey there, guys. It's Kesa from Totally Designs, and I am back with my painting videos. I'm having such a good time with painting. And so I'm gonna come and paint a couple of canvases while I'm on with you guys. And I'm also going to make some decisions regarding other canvases I've already painted. Um, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and grab whatever it is that you're working on, be it your crocheting, your sewing, your needlepoint, whatever it is that you're working on, come on in and paint with me, chat with me, and craft with me. How about that? I have different people that come and watch my channel, and I'm so very grateful for that. So I'm going to start off with, um, I don't know. I don't know what color I want to start off. Oh, I know what I can start off showing you. First of all, let me show you guys this color shift, okay? Now, I only painted one coat, y'all. This is already dry. It does say, you know, wait two hours between the coating. In this particular instance, I think a good 30 minutes will be okay. And you can go ahead and paint another coat if you want to. But let me tell you what I do notice about the color shift. So see as I'm moving it, it's kind of turning like a metallic so it's shifting colors, which I do like that, about that. Uh, I also did one in that pink and that yellow combined. And I'm not going to say it's going to stay that way. I may add some polka dots to it. Not sure. Okay. Um, let's get started. I'm going to see what it is that I want to work with, with regard to color, y'all. I'm actually looking for color. I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this blue. This is a dark blue. And I'm going to start painting that. Oh, that's going to be nice. I have not done this color. Have not done this color. So I'm definitely going to try it and see how it works. So we're just going to start painting. I'm also going to be working with this mosaic piece. And the reason why I call it mosaic is because... In my mind, mosaic has different uh, text uh, textures to it, different colors to it, and um, that's why I call it my mosaic piece. And I'm going to actually be trying different things to add to it to, to make it just this beautiful piece. And it's not necessarily for sale, although somebody might want it after I'm done with it. I don't know. We'll see. So this color, if you're wondering what I'm, it is a, it is a blue, it's a dark blue. So I want to say cobalt blue. And I'm going to change brushes, y'all, because this brush is not um, brushing on the way I would like. I'm going to get another one. Okay, there we go. There we go. Much better. So, basically, what I'm doing in um, this video, I kind of want to do, like, 
those movies where you have like alternative endings. Do you guys ever create a project and you're like, you have one ending in mind for that particular project, but then you're thinking to yourself like, well, what if I could do it both ways just to see what it looks like? I submit that you can. And the reason why is that you can paint two of the canvas the same color, like this one, like I'm doing. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, and you can um, do it with different patterns on it. So you can have different alternatives to whatever design you had in mind. And that's what I mean by alternative conclusions. And then what I love about the movie part is they allow you to choose which which all which ending that you would have preferred, which I think is kind of neat. All right, I'm almost finished with this, y'all. So I'm going to, once I uh, finish painting this, I actually am going to let it dry. And then I'm going to get over here to this mosaic piece because I really want to um, bring life to it. And I'm going to bring it front and center so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about here. Okay. All right, I am done with this. So I'm gonna move this right on over here. Then I'm actually gonna move this as well. I don't need that in the way. Now this is the piece I'm talking about right here that I need to figure out what I wanna do with it. Now I have beads here and I'm thinking since I am calling it a mosaic piece, you know, do I wanna add something like this to it? Do I want to use the stickers? Um, and I honestly see a couple of stickers that might go well with this. Um, I'm thinking this, possibly. Um, you know, would that go well with that? Um, you know, or do I want to put the keys on there and kind of give it a like a a real mosaic look or a, a vintage look I should say maybe I should say vintage um, or could I add that on there with the key or is that too much you know, um, I'm thinking on that lines. Um, hmm. I do have like little beads like this I can kind of put around it, maybe. Um, let's see what I have here. That would give it, hmm, let me look at that. And then I have other little color beads and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how many I have of those, if I can even incorporate them. Then I'm thinking like, I have more of those. Um, I have that. have that you don't want that rolling off because they will roll off and I have other little colorful beads here and I'm thinking like this I can put that on there and of course I would put it on there when the resin is on there guys um
<laughs> All right. I'm just thinking about it. Um, this is very interesting. And I could put another key on there. There's so much I can do with this. Um, that would be a very interesting earring. Kind of busy. But that's kind of how I really want it a little bit because it's a mosaic piece. It has all the different pieces of art in it. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take that off of there. I'm gonna remove that really quickly because I am gonna decide what I want. Okay, so. Let's see. It's very interesting. Hmm. Maybe if I added some more keys to it, like different kind. I'm really partial to like this, but let me just. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna commit to the key, the key ring right quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the resin on it. I'm gonna put that resin. I'm gonna go ahead and do the resin. I think I'm gonna do the key, but I might add something else to it. I'm not sure, guys, so bear with me. And the resin absolutely makes this pop. Now I'm gonna hurry up and um, spread this liberally across here because I do want to make sure I have enough on here okay we're going to like I said we're going to take that excess sweep it on across here okay there we go sweep it across there we are Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that key right in the middle, right about there. Okay, I think that's going to be nice. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit. And let me turn it over. There we go. I think I'll turn it on that side. Okay. Then I'm going to put an extra set of resin on top of it. Because I want it to stay. I want it to blend in really well. Okay, now the key is we still have to spread that resin across because we don't want it to cake up too much. It's okay if it cakes up a little bit, but not too, too much. Okay. Okay, so now I want to add a couple of these beads on there.
Okay. Hmm. Yep. That gives it that flavor I'm looking for. So I'm really looking for this to be an eclectic piece of work, right? So I'm going to add in a little bit. And maybe I'll roll you down. Maybe I'll roll you down here or over here and I'll roll you down here. Something like that. Here we are. Okay. And guys, I'm just really using my creative eye and it doesn't really have to make any sense right at the moment and I don't even really have to have it where it's sectioned just right because the purpose of this piece is just to be different and that's why I call it my mosaic piece because it's just different it's it's one of those pieces that will probably likely stand out. And I might wear this myself. Thank you to all my subscribers, new and returning. I hope that you are enjoying my lives and I hope you also are enjoying my tutorials. All right. Well, obviously I'm not going to finish this in this pro in this particular video. So, you have to come back to the next video to see how it all ends. All right, guys, until the next video, I'll talk to you later.